I don't have a, <laughs> a binder full of poems, so don't, don't worry. And everybody is taller than me, so I find myself always putting the bloody mic down. Um, I spent five years in Japan, and uh, I found the country um, delightful uh, and a mystery, difficult sometimes to understand. And a number of poems came from that, and they continue. Um, I have two short poems, uh, each quite uh, different, but each rooted in Japan. Um, this first one, I, I will say one word. Yawata is uh, the Shinto god of war, and I will use that word here, so. You know, the other thing is, I walked back and forth to work for five years through the largest cemetery um, uh, in Tokyo. A colonel cornered. Sixty-five years they have stood tall. These four corner <coughs> cannon shells guarding his earth bath. Their Yawata noses stuck up with unfaltering fidelity. But note how this aging armor is corroded by mongrels who sniff all about, their wagging tongues salivating as they piss on such fascist phalluses, mongrels vigorously wagging their rear ends to kick stones at such rusting relics, reflecting the horror of hot steel thorns slicing into hope. <coughs> the other one completely changes the emotion, so I'll, I'm not going to stick with that. Um, the Children's Encyclopedia, Grolier Society, 1937. Shall I tie this note, bless you, Mom and Dad, to a rock, drop it into Mount Unsen, pray that it may be caught, or shall I let fly my bless your wisdom in the hope that the wind gods will find by the flying plum tree shrine, or shall I light the gate fire in your names, flame sighing my thank you at age five for the magic of books. Or shall I, my way, water your aging grave, head lowered to reflect my gratitude into your warm stone? Thank you.